Okay, this is uh, this is Rapper Sets Mortar Mix. Watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna get some fresh, fresh section of Rapper Sets Mortar Mix. Empty container. I'm going to grab a big section of it. Okay. Then I'm going to weigh it. Let me pause it. All right. So it's weighing it at 785.7 grams. Now, watch what I do here. Let me move this, but you have a general idea what's going to happen here. Rapachet is composed of, it's a concrete. Their mortar mix is really a concrete. We've got three mixes. We've got a, a smaller aggregate, a medium aggregate, if you will, medium, larger, and the fine aggregate, which is actually their, uh, probably their CSA. So it's not really an aggregate, it's a bonding. It's their, Binding product, bonding product. As you can see, it's nothing but fine powder. There's nothing finer than that. Let me, um, then this product, let me pause this for a second. Okay, for the sport of it, for the sport of it, let me move this out of the way. That's another, another experiment, doesn't belong there. So there's the two aggregates together. These two aggregates together, they have fine voids and they fill each other's voids up. Now we add some CSA to it. Well, I believe it's CSA because that's what our kit says it's composed of. And I do have CSA somewhere else, a bag, bag of pure CSA. But now we have their mortar mix. Amazing, right? Those fines and all that get you that smooth finish there with all those aggregate all right but let me scrape this for a second okay we have the 786 um, 786.3, let me write down my mate, my weight. What can I do percentages? 786.2 is the uh, with it with the container in play. Now we're gonna grab this guy. Make sure you've got a video of it good. And we're gonna come up with percentages. I'm gonna pause this now. Okay, continuing the video. I'm almost complete. much complete All right so this is our larger aggregate let's check the weight of it we're remaining at 200 to 209 to hmm, that's actually wind blowing it changing it 209 um, 209 we're gonna go with 209, 209 grams. So at 209 grams, the wind's blowing, like I said. We'll now dump out the, prod, the uh, larger aggregate. You can see it's empty. Hold on. And we'll weigh the container. We've got 112 grams. Wind's blowing it, like I said. Um, it's a real sensitive scale. Um, pretty good scale. 112. 112, and this is our aggregate. Let 
now we're going to weigh this product minus the powder for a second, right? A little bit of powder. So now we're coming up to 604 grams. And I'm going to scrape some of this powder in and see how significant this little bit of powder is. 604 grams. We've got some wind blowing here, but we're at uh, 617 grams. 17 grams. Okay, with wind blowing. So that's our total remaining aggregate and, and CSA. Okay, so now we're going to sieve this. Let's see if you can see it. Yep. And I'll just start it going. And then I'll stop. And then I'll continue sieving. Okay, you guys see what's going on? Now pause. Okay, so here we are with the next size aggregate. And here's a pile of uh, CSA. So let's go ahead and place our pile of uh, next size aggregate. Take a look at it. Okay, we got a little light for the everything, but here's the one pile of aggregate. Aggregate. There's the other pile with the two sizes side by side, if you will. And here's our CSA. Now, let's weigh the container. Let's come up with the result of that container itself. Okay, so the container weighs 50 grams, 50.2 grams, let's call it 50 grams. So now let's go ahead and weigh the CSA. Okay, weighing the CSA with the container, we're at 490 grams, we'll round up, we'll take 50 grams off of the container, so that's going to give us a... Uh, 440 grams of CSA. Okay, so now I picked up all the, the fine aggregate. Um, and it's coming up to about 150 grams. So we take 50 grams off of the container. We've got about 100 grams of uh, fine aggregate. Now that leaves me with a little margin of error. Um, I should have came up to about 100. 70 grams um, So they're 20 grams off Nevertheless, I've got my proportions now I've got 100 grams of the fine aggregate I have uh, 87 grams of the large aggregate and I have 440 grams of CSA So now I've got proportions from aggregate to aggregate to um, Aggregate to CSA ratio got a rough, uh, rough estimate and I'll give it to you in a minute. So using um, kind of a close enough measurement um, estimates, if I were to count the CSA um, as 400 grams and I counted this as 100, 100 grams and I counted the, uh, um, the fine aggregate, I mean the heavier aggregate as 100 grams also, I would come up to that they're using a uh, one to four ratio on the CSA. So CSA would be 400 grams. So if I knock this down by 40 grams. Um, so this would be 400 grams, 100 grams, 100 grams. So um, 100 goes into 400 four times, which is 25%. Um, so 25% and 25% by weight to come up with the, the mixture. So they use 25% weight of this guy, 25% weight of this, and well, there you have it. So if you were to do 100 grams, of, if you wanted, if you were to do 400 grams of CSA, you would then add 100 grams of fine stone and 100 grams of the coarser aggregate. 
blending them, blend them together, they get their uh, whatever the PSI this is rated for, and that's what you wind up with is this, is this beautiful pile of, of uh, it's a concrete. This is a this is a concrete. No matter how you look at it, this this is a concrete. That's as fine as it's going to get for us. And then this is your smaller aggregate, all pretty much consistent sizing. And this sizing is pretty consistent also. Your plus and minuses. Um, this I believe is a CSA, and I have pure CSA, which I'll compare it against. Okay, so this is pure CSA. And, well, there's our texture of it. I don't see any other mixes in there. And here's the CSA next to it. And I blend across the two of them. You can see the colors and the consistency is the same. So here's your CSA. I can't break that down anymore. There's nothing else to break down in that. As you can see, I'm down to the, the fines. That's it. That is a CSA. Same thing with this. I might have some stone migrated in here. That's why I even the numbers up. You can hear a little bit of aggregate. But not up top. I don't see any aggregate up there. Or inside my creases there. And then here's the aggregate. Here's this one. No aggregate. Okay. Now this obviously is aggregate. And aggregate. Alright, so there's your ratios. End of this video.